This is what it's like to be a parrot. So today is all about what it's like <laughs> to be a parent, right? Yeah. So today we're talking about being parents, so I thought it'd be cool to visit one of my uh, former students who's now a new parent. I'm really excited. Jeremiah? Yeah. This is Jeremiah. He's amazing. to the third ever Q and J. This time it's a Q and J and J. And uh, we're gonna be talking about what it's like to have kids. And to be honest with you, this is now our second take because one of our kids woke up in the middle of it. <laughs> so um, that's, a, that's an answer. You know, see these tired eyes? That's an answer of what it's like to have kids. Well, we're gonna get right to the questions. Thank you so much for these questions. The first one, how did you feel about changing a diaper for the first time? Well, I started changing diapers when I was in 8th grade, so ever since then it was kind of like nothing when it came to our, our own kids. Yeah, when you've started in 8th grade, it's not a big deal to change your own kid's diaper, but I actually have Jamie beat. I've been changing diapers my whole life. Uh, my sister um, was born at an age and in a way that I changed her diapers, and then I, we adopted a sister when I was 14 and I changed her diapers. and. I've helped my mom have foster babies in the house, so I've changed diapers, and it's just always been part of it. But I think what you're looking for is how gross is changing diapers. Very gross. You're literally handling crap. It's a crappy, crappy job. Yeah. And they play, and they kick, and they laugh, and you love them so much, but they're making it a crappy job. And sometimes you get peed on. Second question, what are some things that you look forward to as your kids get older? For me, this one's pretty easy. It goes back to the last question. I look forward to not changing diapers. Yeah, and, and a whole other thing, we're about to have a girl. I don't know what that's like at all. <laughs> um, when she gets older, I'm interested to see how the boys interact with her and how people treat her. And I'm getting a phone call. Sorry about that, we're back. Um, so I am looking forward to seeing how the boys interact with our new baby girl. That's gonna be great. That's gonna be very interesting. Very interesting. I think they'll be great big brothers, but I just wanna see it. So I'm looking forward to every step. I don't wanna miss anything, and I don't even wanna rush through the diaper phase, but I am excited for it to be over. Uh, the final question is from uh, Matt Smith. He submitted a video question. Hey Jason, what are some things that you do to balance being a full-time youth pastor and also being a parent? This is a good question, Matt. The, how do you balance the life of being a youth pastor and a parent? And an important element for me 
is to not identify myself only as a youth pastor. I'm a follower of Christ first, I'm a husband second, and I'm a parent third, and those things are so important to me. You notice I didn't even list my job on there. I'm a youth pastor fourth. Um, I, I think it's hard when we bring the kids to your work, and sometimes in the mornings, Hero gets sad, not for too long, but when you leave, he's he can get a little upset. And... Yeah, it's really hard leaving them to go to work. Yeah. And I was thinking about this, you know, it's hard to be maybe a pastor and have kids, but it's also hard to be an electrician and have kids, or, or be anything and have kids. What about a single mom? You know, I think about this all the time. Like, I'm able to know I'm leaving my kids with their mother who loves them and takes care of them, and, or a single father who's raising kids to know that you're just leaving them with a babysitter. At the, that's hard, you know? So being a parent in any way is hard. You gotta figure out that balancing act. And, yeah. And we aren't masters at it at all. No. You know, we're barely learning as it is. We have, we're gonna have three under three this year. It's crazy. I'd love to actually hear your suggestions in the comments below. Let me know your advice for raising kids or, or maybe you have a younger brother or sister and you'd like to let me know about it. Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching. Thank everybody for your support. It really means a lot to me that you guys are enjoying these videos. So, thanks a lot. Bye-bye, Brody. Bye-bye. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs>